Done. Sussex furiously insulted by a dangerous nickname, making them believe hung out to dry. The couple quit the UK in 2020 and moved to the United States, where they've been critical of their time as working royals. Now a new book by royal author Valentine Lowe, which is published on Thursday, has made several claims about what went on during the pair's short time as working royals. The book, Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, says that some of the couple's staff were left in tears when they discovered the couple had secretly made plans to escape royal life. It also says that staff who have previously worked for them dubbed themselves the Sussex Survivors Club. And with the release of the book, royal expert Duncan Larcombe believes Harry and Meghan will have felt hung out to dry. Some of the people involved will have felt aggrieved at Meghan's hands, and they're free to speak to writers like Valentine. Harry and Meghan are going to see these accusations appearing in Valentine's book, and I think they're going to believe that they've been hung out to dry. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly had enough of attacking the royal family, as the couple don't want to become any more unpopular. Now Meghan and Harry have returned to California, knowing that the ball is in their court. The fact remains that the life they built in America is incompatible with Harry attaining any meaningful role in the royal family. Just days after the new king released a photo portrait of himself alongside his queen consort and the new prince and princess of Wales, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have had their own photo shoot shared in which they look like superheroes. Judy James says that the two images of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle which were taken on September the 5th at the One Young World Summit in Manchester by photographer Misan Harriman, made the pair look like they're set to save the planet. Two images have been released by the Sussexes, one in colour where the prince wears a cheeky smile, and a second moody black and white one in which the couple seem to be gazing at a distant future horizon. The pictures were released to mark the One Young World Summit, an event which aims to encourage young people to build a more sustainable future. Judy told, The body language in these official shots pins up the words important couple in a way that is almost presidential, or even in the black and white shot, more like dutiful superheroes. Shattered that Meghan seemed to be the principal focus in the pictures, which given her key role in the One World Summit seems appropriate. While in the colour photo, Harry stands supportively behind his wife, with a playful expression on his face. In the black and white shot, Harry's face is especially serious, says Judy. She adds, they look set to save the planet here. The potentially arrogant pose means they want to be taken seriously as a power couple, according to body language expert Ariana Carter. Harry's head is slightly lowered and he's looking up under slightly lowered brows. This is a reminiscent pose, used often by his mother and his submissive head dip and eyes raised, makes him look friendly and warm, she added. His body is slightly turned towards Meghan, he's allowing her to take the full attention. Both look solemn, but there's slightly more warmth to Meghan's facial expression in this photo. They look like they're standing to attention and want to be taken seriously as a power couple. A source reported that the Sussexes want to make edits to a highly anticipated Netflix show and Harry's forthcoming memoir. During Sunday's episode of Paul Murray Live, available to stream on Flash, former ITN royal editor Tim Hewitt weighed in on the pair's upcoming projects. The journalist claims Harry and Meghan don't want to cause tension between them and the monarchy.